Welcome back to another unboxing video for homeremade.online. Found it first. This is a really cool candle holder that I found. It's a mirrored candle holder and it's got uh, four votive uh, glass holders on it. I thought it was sitting on the floor at the thrift shop and I just thought it was really vintage looking. So I grabbed that. And I've got a lot to go through, so I need to figure out where to start next. Actually, let's just go box by box. So this I found really interesting. Um, it's got a glass butterfly and the glass florals and it's all fully intact and it's sitting on top of this wood so i just picked this right up and thought it was really pretty give you a good view there let's see oh yeah <clears throat> let's see it's not gonna stand up on its own but I found this really cool owl lamp, which is very vintage. Um, takes one of the, oh, I, I actually could put a new battery in there and make sure that it works, which I'm sure it does. And I found this really cool elephant wall hanger and it's fully intact very mid-century modern in design. That was a small box. All right, oh, here we go. So this plate is actually quite valuable. Um, it's just a wall hanging plate, but the, I believe it's the scene and the metals that it's made out of. If you feel it, uh, you can see that each piece of the metal was placed into the plate. So just by running your fingers over, you can feel how they made this design and it's really, really pretty. Very Egyptian. All right, what else do we have in here? I found another pitcher, just a clear glass pitcher, which I thought was pretty interesting looking. I like the uh, vintage look of the lines. The applied handle is just kind of not very artistic more for the common use but it's actually a weighty weighty picture and there's no mark there are no markings on it but i thought that was pretty vintage looking oh uh, i don't want to grab that right now okay i believe these pink how many did i find Let's see here. I found these depression glass glasses. Let's see. I think I found five of these. I wish there had been six, but I only found five. But I think that they're really pretty with the swirl design and the look. It's kind of a really lovely base. So that was a good find. All right, I need to get through these boxes so I can put everything away. Now this picture is signed and it says Ruth. What's that say? P-O-A-G-E, it looks like. Hmm. But it's got a nice farm scene on it. And 
That must have been the owner of it, Marilyn. No, Marilyn must have made the picture and then Ruth painted it. So that's pretty cool. Again, a pretty weighty picture. I wanted to get to this. Now this is funny. <clears throat> it's a octopus um, on the lid for the handle and then a crab on it. And I believe, if I remember right, this is Cracker Barrel. Yup, Cracker Barrel. And I looked online and they actually sell for quite a bit of money. So I grabbed that up. Oh, no, I did find six of them. That's why I took them. Because usually, you know, depression glass, kind of a hard sell. But, um, having a set of six is much better than a, a set of five. Whoa, okay, we're going to have to go through these bags because they are falling everywhere. Okay, let's go through these bags. If I can grab it. Okay. We will discover things that I have forgotten about. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, an art pottery pitcher. That's really neat. The yellow glaze mixed with like the lack of glaze is really neat. Um, it is stamped on the bottom and it has this stamp and it is row pottery. And speaking of row pottery, I have another piece right here, which I thought is fantastic looking. And it's uh, this piece was made in 2003, and this is row pottery as well. Oh, I found these, which I washed up so that they were a little more shiny. Let's get them in the, in the light. So these are very vintage um, glass, I guess you could call them vases. Um, it's almost a matching pair. One has a damaged, like there should be some ceramic material there and it fell off. So it's really not damaged per se, but you can see that the ceramic corner is missing. Um, but that's all that's wrong with them. So I thought that was a good find, finding two of them. Oh yeah, and this piece. This is actually California pottery. So, it's a nice um, little dish. It, you can see right there, USA. And it's got these really cool lines for the design. And it says California, USA. And it's numbered. I found that yesterday. All right, back to the bag. What do we have in here? Back to the bag. Getting things out one-handed is pretty difficult. Oh yeah, I've got milk glass. Okay, come on. There we go. So, just a regular grape design on that piece of milk glass. Um, I th oh yeah, I think what interested me in it was the fact that there were two um, one is much thinner than the other one, but I found two of them. So you can see matching pair. So that'll be a good listing to have a matching pair. Uh, I got to start a pile on the floor for this 
unboxing. Okay, so we got through one bag. Here's another one. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, right away. Something good. It's an apple canister. It's fully intact. The leaves have no chips or cracks. Um, and you can see there that this is a vintage piece. So this was a good find. Oh, I forgot to show you this. Uh, I found this outside for like a quarter. It is a piece of BBP. You can see right there. Uh, pottery. And that's their signature colors. They do a lot of hearts. Um, I'm not really a heart person per se, but, um, but I picked that up and I have some of these already and I love this artist. Um, let's see here. Bor Borton. L. Borton. So I found this guy. And let's, I just want to make sure that he matches what I already have, which I'm pretty sure he does. So here, ooh, go focus. Okay, so there you can see I've got more pieces. Um, down here I've got more. This one's lighter, but all of them should be signed. Where is this one signed at? I know it is. And I've got another one there. But I have quite the little collection of Fortin sculptures, which I need to list. What else? Okay. Oh yeah, this is a just a art glass bowl which has a really neat texture to it. It almost looks recycled. Um, it's very thin. Uh, the sticker that was on there is all worn off so I don't know the maker of this and I don't think I'll be able to figure it out. I don't think it's fire and light but it looks like recycled glass and it is not signed anywhere but that was a good a good piece of art glass all right we're gonna stick to the bags let's see what's in this one let's see here oh the goose i guess you could call it a goose on a nest i don't know but this one is very vintage. Very pretty. Is that a swan? Maybe it's a swan. I don't know. All right, what else do we have? Unwrapping, unwrapping. Oh yeah. There should be another one of these. So, not sure why I purchased these. I think this is the... Because I, I don't really do much in these figurines, at least this type of figurine, but I thought that those two were so cute and vintage looking that they came home with me. Uh, they are Homeco. You can see it right there. Um... And there's the signature symbol. But like I said, just kind of vintage looking. So I was interested in seeing how those do. I have a lot of listing that I'm going to be doing after this today. <clears throat> I'm so far behind. Let's see. Oh, this is... What is this? A.F. 
AF. That's what this video says. So I'm gonna have to do some research on this little bear that is signed AF. It's not AR, which would be a very collectible piece, but this is, this is AF. All right, I'll set him there. Let's see what else we got. In here. I guess this was the day of figurines. Got a little rabbit, which is a uh, piggy bank. I wonder, oh yeah, now I'm pretty sure this is the matching for the pair. Yep, so it's the mommy and the kid. So that's why I purchased those, because it was a set of little bunny banks. Bunny banks. That's what we'll, that's what we'll list them as. Bunny banks. All right, we have more. Okay, here are some items that are a little different again. All right, we'll set these bunnies over here. Can't wait to do some cleaning in this garage. Okay, come out. So, I almost passed this up, but then I decided that there was something special about this cross and it wasn't just something to hang on the wall. And what it is, is it's an actual uh, baptism set. So that is really cool. So not only is it a wall hanging, but it's, it's also that baptism set. Um, I think I actually might list it and then hang it on my wall for a while. Because I have a good spot next to a painting that I have. All right, I guess we'll set. Jesus down on the floor there and see what else is in this bag. Um, come on. This is not so vintage, but I thought it would be a good sale. It's an actual like recipe box. And when you open it, let me get it open quick. Ugh. There we go. It says, well, it's got all the cards that you need. Actually, the cards look vintage. Or maybe just made to look vintage. Pretty cool, it says recipe title from the kitchen of. Too bad I don't cook very well. It says rifle paper company. So I bet that's who made this. Yep, rifle paper company. Hmm. Anyway, somebody will want an old recipe box that, or something that was made to look old. All right, what's in here? This is a light bag. It's very light. So whatever I bought is very small. All right, where'd you go? Oh, okay. <sighs> I believe these are left in. Yep. Left in cups. Okay, let's hope I found a couple here. I feel that this is another one. Let's try to get it out of there. It's hard doing things one handed. Yep, there's another one. I wonder. If I actually found four. Yep, I must have found four. And there's this hand. Switch hands! That was getting a little painful. Alright, come on. Here we go. There's three. Throw the paper. 
Come on. And four. Very anticlimactic, but four pieces of Lufton. So that's that's exciting. They're all marked. Good. Forgot about that purchase. Okay. We've got another bag here. Which, again, no idea what I bought. Oh, this is an old travel mug. Pottery. I bet that it's signed under there. I wonder if that thing will come off. Ugh, not very easily. Okay, that's staying on there. But anyway, it's supposed to stay there so that when you're driving, it's not going to move. Which it seems like works pretty well. So I'll leave it on there for the listing. I think that I got a vase. Feels like a vase. Oh! Okay, so this matches a set that I bought. Where did I put those? This matches the set. It's not marked, um, but I believe, where did I put that set? I bought a whole set of these. Okay. Well, anyway, I've got three plates and now I have a vase that matches it. Okay, this thing feels heavy a little bit. Another one. That matches. No! Oh, it is! It's a picture that matches the set. Cool! That's going to be a good listing now. Because I've got plates, a pitcher, and a vase. So, that's going to be a good listing. All right, quite the pile coming out of these bags here. I'm gonna have a lot of paper to clean up here in a minute. Okay, I think this is the last of the bags. So it's not an unboxing, it's an unbagging today. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about this. I thought this is gorgeous. So it's a bud vase. Um, and it's got th space for three buds. Of course, you could put a whole, uh, you know, bouquet and then two, two s single flowers. Oh gosh, this would be so cool to just keep. Um, for some reason, someone didn't sign it. Oh wait, no, I lied. Karma signed it, 1982. I don't know. That's going to be hard to let go. That will be hard to let go. Okay, what else is in here? It's a plate. Oh, Fitz and Floyd. Fitz and Floyd. Love it. Holiday themed, I bet. Yep. And there you can see Fitz and Floyd, 1995. Nice little cookie tray. I think that is really pretty. I just love Fitz and Floyd's th stuff. Um, let's just make sure that I got all the bags un unbagged. I think I did. All right. I guess we got all the bags. So we'll just end today's on the Fitz and Floyd. And we will see you next time for another unboxing video. Hope you have a great day.